What if I told you the next war won't be fought by soldiers but by algorithms? Imagine waking up to a world where a line of code decides who lives and who dies. This isn't a movie. This is happening, right now. AI is rewriting the rules of war and survival. Are you ready for what comes next? Artificial intelligence is already here, transforming how wars are fought, AI is shaping the future of war. But are we ready for what's coming? Stick around and see how it could change your world. The very nature of conflict is being rewritten by algorithms and code. We are witnessing a fundamental transformation in how wars are fought. This new era of warfare will be defined by the speed and intelligence of machines. It promises greater efficiency, but also carries unprecedented risks. In the chapters ahead, you'll discover how these technologies are changing everything we know about conflict, and what's at stake for us all. The most visible change in modern warfare is the rise of autonomous drones and robots. These are the new soldiers on the front lines. For years we have used remote-controlled drones like the Predator and Reaper for surveillance and targeted strikes. But the next generation is different. They are being designed with increasing levels of artificial intelligence. This AI allows them to perform complex missions with minimal human oversight. They can navigate complex environments, identify potential threats, and in some cases, even engage those threats without a human in the loop. These are not just remote-controlled puppets, they are becoming intelligent agents on the battlefield, capable of independent action. There are many types of these AI-powered systems. We see autonomous drones that can fly in coordinated swarms, overwhelming enemy air defenses through sheer numbers. On the ground, robotic vehicles are being developed to patrol borders, clear minefields, and provide armed support for human soldiers. At sea, unmanned submarines can hunt for enemy vessels for months at a time, operating in silence deep beneath the waves. Consider the concept of a loitering munition, often called a kamikaze drone. These weapons are a chilling example of lethal AI in action. They are designed to fly to a target area and wait, sometimes for hours, hunting for a specific type of target. Once the AI identifies a match based on its programming such as a specific type of radar system or military vehicle, it can dive down and destroy it. Some of these systems can make this final attack decision without a human giving the final command. The proliferation of AI weapons poses a grave threat to global security. One of the greatest dangers is that these powerful technologies could fall into the wrong hands. Imagine sophisticated autonomous drones being acquired by terrorist organizations or rogue states. These groups would not be constrained by the same rules of engagement or ethical considerations that govern professional militaries. They could use AI weapons to carry out attacks on civilian populations with devastating efficiency and precision. Furthermore, the widespread availability of AI technology makes this threat very real. The core components of AI, software, processing power and data, are becoming cheaper and more accessible every day. A non-state actor would not need to build a massive industrial complex to create a capable AI weapon. They could potentially adapt commercially available drone technology and open-source AI software to create a highly lethal system. This lowers the barrier to entry for acquiring weapons of mass effect. Another major threat is the risk of accidental escalation. AI-powered military systems operate at speeds that are far beyond human comprehension. In a crisis, two opposing AI systems could interact in unpredictable ways, leading to a rapid and uncontrollable escalation of conflict. A minor border skirmish could spiral into a full-scale war in a matter of minutes, before human leaders even have time to understand what is happening. This is the nightmare scenario of flash war where algorithms, not diplomats, are in control of our fate. Should a machine ever be given the power to make the decision to kill a human being? This is the question we face with lethal autonomous weapon systems, or laws. These systems could independently search for and engage targets without human intervention. Delegating life or death decisions raises issues about the value of human life. The laws of war require combatants to distinguish between military targets and civilians, demanding nuanced human judgment. An AI relying on data and parameters may lack the ability to understand context and intent, potentially leading to unlawful killings. Removing human judgment from killing creates a dangerous moral distance, sanitizing warfare. This could make war easier for leaders, as the human cost feels less immediate. Preserving human control over force is a moral imperative to safeguard our humanity. The theoretical dangers of AI weapons are quickly becoming reality as nations actively develop and deploy them, this is a present-day arms race. 
the United States is a leader, investing billions through agencies like DARPA. Projects such as the Navy's Sea Hunter show a commitment to autonomous systems. China sees AI as critical for military superiority, aiming to lead the world in AI by 2030. Russia is also aggressively pursuing military AI, developing autonomous systems like robotic tanks and underwater drones. Nations like Israel integrate AI into defense, such as the Harrop loitering munition. The United Kingdom, South Korea, and Turkey are developing and exporting AI-enabled military hardware, expanding advanced autonomous capabilities beyond superpowers. Imagine this, in the chaos of battle, an AI system detects a sudden threat and launches a counterattack before any human can react. But what if the AI misreads the situation? Could we lose control in the blink of an eye? One of the most frightening risks of military AI is the potential for humans to lose control over warfare itself. As we build more complex and faster autonomous systems, we're creating a battlefield that operates at machine speed. What you've seen so far is only the surface. The next discovery could completely flip how we think about technology and humanity's future. If you want to stay ahead of the curve, make sure you're subscribed for the latest insights. But here's the twist. The real danger isn't killer robots, it's losing control. What happens when even the creators can't predict what AI will do next? The future of war might be decided in milliseconds by machines we barely understand. The interactions between different AI systems on a battlefield could also produce chaotic and unpredictable results. When multiple complex adaptive systems interact, they can create outcomes that nobody intended or foresaw, not even their programmers. For example, an AI system designed for defense might interpret an opponent's actions as hostile and launch a preemptive strike, which could trigger a catastrophic chain reaction. The ultimate danger of AI in warfare is crossing the threshold where machines are given the final authority to decide who lives and who dies. This is more than a technical or strategic problem. It is a fundamental challenge to our humanity. The act of taking a human life is the most significant decision a person can make, and it is governed by law and morality and the weight of personal conscience. To delegate this final irreversible decision to a machine is to abdicate our most basic moral responsibility. A machine does not understand the value of a human life. It cannot feel empathy or compassion. It cannot grant mercy. It simply executes a command based on its programming. When a machine makes the final call, it removes the possibility of human judgment in critical moments. A human soldier can make a split-second decision not to shoot, even when they have a clear order. They might see a child in the background or recognize that the target is trying to surrender. This delegation of lethal authority also creates an accountability vacuum. If an autonomous weapon unlawfully kills civilians, who is to blame? Is it the programmer who wrote the code? They were likely part of a large team and had no control over how the weapon was used. Is it the commander who deployed it? They may argue they had no direct control over its final action. Is it the manufacturer? They will claim they just built the hardware to specifications. This diffusion of responsibility makes it nearly impossible to deliver justice for victims and hold anyone accountable for war crimes. There's a growing global push to regulate AI weapons. Diplomats, activists and experts have gathered at the UN in Geneva to debate the issue within the convention on certain conventional weapons. The goal? Establish international rules governing lethal autonomous weapons systems. Many are calling for a treaty to ban weapons that kill without human control. The campaign to stop killer robots argues delegating life and death decisions to machines is unethical and a threat. Creating these rules is difficult. A major challenge is the lack of a clear definition of what constitutes a lethal autonomous weapon. The biggest obstacle is resistance from military powers actively developing these weapons. The US, Russia and China have resisted a legally binding ban. This stalemate means the AI arms race continues unchecked. Looking ahead to the next decade, experts predict that AI will become even more deeply integrated into military operations. We will move beyond individual autonomous drones and robots toward highly networked systems. The dominant concept will be multi-domain operations, where AI coordinates actions seamlessly across land, sea, air, space, and cyberspace. We can also expect to see the proliferation of smaller, cheaper, and more intelligent autonomous systems. The trend of drone swarms will mature, with thousands of small, interconnected drones capable of overwhelming even the most sophisticated air defense systems. Another key area of development will be in AI for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. 
AI algorithms will be able to sift through massive amounts of data from sensors, satellites and online sources to identify patterns and predict enemy actions before they happen. If you want to truly understand how AI will change our world, don't miss our weekly insights. Hit subscribe now and stay ahead. We are at a critical juncture in the history of warfare. The choices we make today about artificial intelligence will define the future of global security for generations to come. The path we are currently on is one of a dangerous and destabilizing arms race, a race toward a future where machines make life and death decisions on the battlefield. This is a future where conflict can escalate at machine speed, beyond the control of human leaders. This is not a future we should accept passively. The terrifying truth is that technology is moving faster than our wisdom. We must resist the seductive logic of technological inevitability, the idea that because we can build these weapons, we must. The development of fully autonomous weapons is not inevitable, it is a choice. The most important step we can take is to preserve meaningful human control over the use of force. This must be our guiding principle. Technology should be a tool to assist human decision-making, not a replacement for it. The final decision to use lethal force must always be made by a human being. The future is not yet written. We have an opportunity to steer the development of AI in a direction that enhances security and upholds human dignity. But our window of opportunity to act is closing. We must have an honest and urgent global conversation about these weapons. The future isn't waiting, and neither should you. Subscribe now to Smart AI Hustle for powerful weekly insights into AI, money-making tools, and the tech shaping tomorrow. Don't get left behind. Your future starts now.